What's going on guys? So today I'm going to bring you some IPO update with Chia, the official not so official update in regards to the IPO of Chia because it wasn't really public information, but in a way it was kind of public information. How the hell do I get best of both worlds, right? How is it public but not really public? Because it wasn't really announced, but it was on a public forum. That's what I was getting at. What am I talking about and how do I come up with that theory of it being official but not official? Well, let me explain to you how I got to that point this question was really meant for chia and, and team members of chia and it's not solicitation or outsider speculation the official statement from the chia team has been that they would like to get an asteroids announcement out before going entering the quiet period for the ipo what are the chances that these delays in asteroids result in the chia team just deciding that the ipo is more pressing priority than the announcement and entering the quiet period before the news has a chance to come out so that's pretty interesting i thought that question raised a lot of eyebrows like what the hell is going on you got a lot of short answers and ip won't, won't come in the stock market like this which is pretty true i mean this is has to be one of the worst times if you were to go public right now everyone has already lost all their money their pants their food their mortgage payments i mean i don't know what else to say a lot of people are in the hole right now and it's not pretty and this is not a time that you would speculate on something that may not even be relevant in whether it's crypto or in the regular stock market in any type of commodity like would you go out and buy physical gold right now me personally i would probably not even though i believe in it you know that's just me if they burn through their cash they need to raise new money somehow typically this would be done through public offering another private round or through debt which you would borrow money or loans or whatever it is or put things in collateral i'm not sure what chia would be able to put on collateral all they start making cuts to their staff because they have been growing ridiculously fast i'm sure that payroll is not little all right that's just my opinion but in regards to this response, I'm going to skip through to the responses that we actually got from the Chia team themselves. That's why I said that this is more of a official, not so official announcement because it actually came from the Chia employees and Hoffman himself. So let's take a look and see what was being said here from the Chia employee. There is what we like what is the ideal what is practical and what is feasible it's a balancing act between all of those things that are c-suite and boards play day by day things are changing daily and they are always going to try to navigate the most optimal path for chia network success and also the success of the core blockchain development under the chia networks stewardship take what gene says as reliable data point on these matters but it's not the only data point and is constantly subject to change and outside his control so so if the market is doing horribly right now obviously no company in their right mind would want to go ipo it because it will be even more speculation on top of this bearish market but when people have money when crypto and bitcoin is up and everything else is up there's money there's play money there's enough money in there it's almost like i don't know if everyone here received a stimulus check during the whole pandemic that was extra money that's how a lot of that money everyone felt like they were rich they didn't have to work they were unemployed and they were still getting paid and they took that money and they put it into the market and they put it into crypto why because i did the same exact thing and i'm sure and i know personally a bunch of other people that i talked to has done that as well because we weren't all unemployed we were still getting stimulus checks on top of our regular paychecks now i was fortunate enough not to get cut back i didn't get laid off or anything so companies started getting grants to support the payroll of these people and i'm going a little off tangent but that's market condition it really depends on what's going on right now if people don't have money and they don't have anything to use to speculate they're not going to invest no matter how great you think this company is going to be going forward and the response from the op was it was actually a great response even though it was a little vague but at least there was some information in there that you could have taken and used that to your own knowledge. I understand these delays are likely not on your end and there comes a point where the plans regarding the pre-IPO milestones may shift which is already has shift the ipo that was mentioned for chia was dated back in 2021 and every article since then whether it was in may or june was stating that chia can go ipo as early as this year and that was 2021 already but now that we're sitting in 2022 halfway into the year i already don't see ipo happening anytime soon in this year of 2022 for Chia. But let's check out and see what Hoffman has said. We have always said pending market conditions. 
which is true. It is a pending marking condition. He has said that many, many times over in every AMA that it was always based on pending market conditions. And what does that mean? That means that when the market is doing well, you sure as hell know that we're going to try and jump on that bandwagon. But when the market is doing bad, you obviously know what's going to happen. Nothing. All right. And if you look around, the market conditions for both tech stocks and cryptocurrency has deteriorated since the last AMA, not much more than a week ago, which is pretty interesting, right? It has like Luna just crashed overnight and Bitcoin has dropped tremendously and a lot of the stable coins has dropped. But across the board, like if we look at the crypto bubble, I mean, everything is red and it's been red for days. When will this come back? We need some sudden changes in the news, possibly, and something to really reinvest the money that they have or some of them already have lost everything that they already had into crypto. It may take some time to rebuild that back. However, the market conditions that matter are those that are not this week or next so much remains up in the air about what exactly we choose to do in the short run. And the OP has responded, perhaps bearish market conditions equals bullish information conditions for a new month to come here. It doesn't seem like the current situation is gonna help promote Chia, no matter how great of a technology, how great the team is, how much they're doing for this crypto space, it's just not right timing. And if you know, and everyone else knows, you have to be like at the right place at the right time in order to benefit from a lot of things like you know i'm going to take that prime example like the guy who offered you know the 10,000 bitcoins for the two pizza pies whoever was on the receiving end was just at the right time at the right place to give that offer and the transaction took place now whether the receiving end actually benefited from it or not or lost it or whatever that's a whole different story but the fact is you have to be there at the right time at the right place in order for anything to be prosperous you know it's just how things work sometimes it doesn't matter other factors may matter like who you know and how you know it what you do what you can do and what's benefiting certain things even during a recession some companies will definitely be at advantage you know sometimes that's how things just work out like if you can time it a little better then that's where the benefit will come in and i personally do not see the ipo happening anytime soon especially in this current state of time where the people are not very really speculative anymore on the crypto space they're trying to look for these stable coins but unfortunately chia hasn't hit that status yet so that is just my opinion in regards to the ipo like i said this is like official, not so official. I mean, it was it came straight out of Hoffman's mouth. It came straight out from the Chia team stating that based on marking conditions just means that it's not doing so great right now. And it probably would not be the right time to go IPO, even though they're trying to go IPO. If you get what I'm saying, this is just a quick update in regards to the whole Chia IPO situation. I am still looking into it. And obviously this little post might have been missed by many. So if you're still wondering if Chia is going IPO, Seems like they are, but it just kind of a different strategy right now. There's a little road bumps right now, and that's what's probably preventing it from going forward this current time. So in this video, I will not be picking another winner because I'm letting my past video accumulate a little more viewership and it hasn't even been 24 hours yet. So I'm going to let that sit a little longer. And then on my next upcoming video, I will pick that winner. Definitely, it will be worth your while. So please remember to hit that like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again really soon.